What is an example of a, it could be a recent project a couple of years ago. What's an example of a project that's like a standard, it runs well, it's, you know, it's sort of, it's that sort of perfect project for you. Um, where of course there's always going to be challenges, but what would be an example that stands out? You go, that's, that's a good project. Yeah. I'd say, uh, our work for equity metals corporation at the silver queen mine, uh, South of Houston, BC has been great. We have one drill there. Uh, it works consistently kind of throughout the year with a few short breaks here and there. Um, it's nice and easy to manage. It's now we're halfway from the shop. Yeah. Um, our local guys out of Smithers get it kind of on a regular rotation there. Um, and it's a excellent, well-organized client to work for. When you're operating something like that, when it's consistent, do you kind of learn tips and tricks of how to go, oh, this consistency we can translate to those less, those more challenging jobs? Are there things you can kind of learn out of that consistency? I know it's kind of a messy question, but... Mm. That's yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. I think, uh, every project we do, we learn from. Yeah. That's one of the funnest things about drilling is that every day you're learning something yeah, new. Master adapters. Yeah. yeah each, each project presents yeah. its own challenges and yeah. And that, that's what we do. That's, that's, that's our job is to adjust to the client's uh, needs. So is that pretty unique then to have a project like that, where it's just sort of that drill is running, you basically do your yeah. maintenance yeah, I and think then, so. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is the, I'd say like the average project in the industry is like 3000 meters and lasts for like a month to six weeks. Right. Yeah. And how do you, how do you maintain a job? What are the keys to maintaining a, a, a job like that? Um, Production and good workmanship communication yeah. yeah 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 and it like it starts with our systems in the shop when we when we mow a job we've got a, a set inventory that goes out on every project that's the same so no matter where the guys go they're getting the same boxes with the same parts right yeah well, and, and things like you mentioned communication and it's, that's an easy one to go everybody goes communication mm -hmm. what's an example on that let's say you use that product specific what is an example of good communication specifics and then what would be an example of the opposite of that <laughs> or, or not an example but what if, what would a communication breakdown look like consistent check-ins from leadership on the project right the project geo being there and 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 timesheets yeah we we're using a, a timesheet app now uh drill with lantern and uh it's helped us kind of bridge that gap of communication for uh the the expectation to have timesheets on the project geo's desk every morning right. um before we were just using a bit of a spreadsheet and foremans were using different vocabulary for mm. different parts and stuff like that this really brings everything together and streamlines not only the vocabulary there's drop downs for all the parts it just sets a standard across across the board for every project right 